Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. And put them down, that says three, four, and five. And the reason that we want five is because five is fairly easy to reach. Now you can see one, two, three, four, five. I can stand back a bit and I can reach that. I can go six if I want to, and if I really want to have that six high, I would need to, I'd be better off building like a half step. Unfortunately, concrete doesn't come in half slabs, and I know for a fact that there are a lot of people that would really love concrete to have half slab ability. It would make life so much better. There's so much you could do with half slab concrete. It would no, half slab concrete. It would be absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, it's not something that the game has, so it's something that we have to leave. Now, although I'm putting the chest down over the top of that glowstone. Because they don't completely cover it up, you do still get light coming out of it. Which just makes everything else a little bit easier, doesn't it? And then all I need to do now is start doing this. And I'm actually just going to do it like that. i put the line down like this. And then I'll put them into the sides of the chests like that. It's actually really, really easy to do. So I'm going to bring that up. Just like that and this is my mod that I'm using which helps me do this uh, it was not my mod technically it's someone else's mod someone that works uh, someone that's on the Psycraft server with Il Mango I can't remember his name but he's the one that's made this collection the tweakaroo and all the rest of it uh, I've got links for it if anybody does want them I got links for this and also the texture pack I get occasionally questions about the texture pack uh, texture pack is called compliance it was faithful 64 but a lot of the creative element of the faithful 64 team left and they now making a new uh, basically the two teams split up there was a, a a difference of opinions in how things should be done and it seems to me that the comp uh, the new one compliance is mostly replacing the faithful 64 um and they seem to be working on it faster as well and i um i've noticed more updates coming through with the compliance one so compliance does actually have its own website you can just search compliance there is a 32-bit version and the 64-bit version which is the one that i use um there is more updates since i've last gone and installed an update from it so you definitely go and take take a look at that if you want the texture pack. There's a link on my Discord channel as well. The link to the Discord is in the description down below. It actually sends you to another video. And then you go from that video. It's in case I had to update the link to Discord, the invite, because uh, this way I only have to update one invite. And I really, really, really did not fancy going through thousands of videos and updating the invite to... Uh, a load of new ones. I mean, I suppose technically I wouldn't have to you just go to a new video and you'd find it But yeah, I just decided to do it like this So follow the link to the other video and then on that video you'll find a link to the discord Should be easy enough And you can go in there you can see my mod list for farming simulator and my mod list for Factorio and also my mods and the texture pack for Minecraft as well. So all the information that you need is on there. If you don't know where to find it, it, it should be reasonably self-explanatory with the channels. Um, but if you can't find it, then just ask in the chat and someone will be available to help. I have no doubt. They are an awesome bunch over on the Discord channel. Um, I've got quite a few moderators on there who all give up their free time to go and help on there. And then there's a whole load of other people who like we, we got a really cool community on there it's, it's very chilled laid back there's quite a few people there now and they're all just willing to help everybody out and that, that's the really awesome thing about it is there's so many people just willing to take their time to help 
different people out who have questions and so on. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so anyway, what do we got in here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, and there should be 20 down through there, which by my reckoning is 100 double chests. I said I wanted 200, so I'm going to need to do exactly the same down this side, which means that we've got the hopper going there, and then we'll have the chests out this way. I'm going to make sure they all face in the same direction. So we want to start down over here. And we want to start on that block right there, so then we can put these up through here like this. I'm going to put them down onto the floor. The bottom layer is the easy layer. Anyone can do the bottom layer. It's the next layers up that get more difficult. So then we can go and put this one just down through here like this. If you shift click when you're putting it down next to a chest, it does actually keep it. There's two separate single chests, just in case you didn't know. And we go and put that one up there like that. And now I can run back through and start doing exactly the same as I did previously. So it's one and two, three, four up on top of the previous ones. And then we can expand them out. So there's the chests. And now all I need to do is just expand these all the way. I'm going to just run this top line all the way through first. And then once I've done the chests, I just need to go and install a few hoppers into the side of said chests, like this. So we can run in these in like that. And again, the mod for placing things only on the surface of what I've already sort of done. It's absolutely brilliant for this. It makes life so much quicker and easier. You're so much less likely to make mistakes with this mod. See, I'm just pressing and holding the button, but it's not actually firing until i have sort of facing against the chest that I want it to go into. So I'm just going against the side of the chest right there, and it's not placing anything down unless I am actually mousing over the side of the chest itself. It is a thing of beauty. So we're going to put that one up there, like that. There, last one, and then just a few more. And that, my friends, is 200 double chest. So we've got that bit in. I need a little bit more concrete to do this bit in the middle. And we're also going to need a bit more up there. So I'm guessing five stacks of concrete would probably be about right. Uh, we've got 200 double chests in here. So the next thing that we will do is we will we'll actually do the concrete we'll do we'll go and get this concrete powder sorted next and then we can do the item streams around because i'd like to get the item well, you know as soon as the item streams are then done it's we're good to go we, we can fire it all up that that would be absolutely brilliant so we're gonna go up and add them like this i need right if i'm gonna do five stacks i'm gonna need some light blue there and what else am I going to need? The rest of the stuff that we want is over here. I think we... Have we got the gravel? There is there is some gravel in here. We've definitely got some gravel in here because I went and put it back. How much have I got? One, two, three. Right, well, two full stacks will make four stacks. So this is actually going to... Three of them will make six stacks. I'll make six stacks. So we want three three lots of that. And then if I go over to here and the sand in there, uh, one, two, three, like that. So there's six of them. And then we turn, actually, the light blue dye that I've got here. Okay, I don't know how many I'm going to need. I thought I'd be able to figure this out really carefully. Uh, 48 is what we want. And then we go and turn that into it. And that is six stacks. And I've got eight pieces of die left. So I'm going to just put that up into there. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get a little bit more ice. We've got... This is all packed ice up here, which is no good for making water streams. We have to have just regular ice. I don't have any other. Although... Well, I'm going to need it for the water streams. So I will take a stack. No, I, yes, I do, I do. Because I'm also going to want the packed ice. We'll have to come back and get that. So we'll, we, we'll, we'll come back for this ice as well. 
I have to come back for that. I don't need this much glowstone. So I'll leave one stack behind and I'll just keep the part stack right there. And then we're going to go over this way. Six stacks of this. Now what I was thinking is I could probably put six stacks in here and do it. Now I'm questioning that wisdom. I could do it in here. This would work. Close enough to... I think I'm also close enough to maintain the beacon's presence. Let's have a look. I go down over here. Need to get rid of... Wait. Oh, the, the book there. Yes. So we're, we're close enough to maintain the beacon's presence, which means that if I do that, I can drop into here, and then I can cover the entire lower level with concrete like this. So that's everything on that bottom layer, and then I can also come up and do the next layer as well. But I've got to be a bit more careful with the next layer, that I don't remove all of the water. So we'll just do that, and that's not even a half a stack. This is disappointing. This is going to take longer than I thought. I should probably just give up at this point and go and get the ice and make a pond. Placing it down inside this deeper pool is actually remarkably easy, but... And, you no, know, nice and fast as well. But digging it out, that's going to be the question. How well will I be able to dig this out when the time comes? So I'm still just placing all of this in. There is squidaroos getting in the way occasionally, but I can put up with those. They're no terrible hardship. And all I'm doing is just continually spamming them down. Oop, I'll do that. I'm trying not to fall off the edge here while I'm doing it. And that's the last one. So they're all placed down. Now all I've got to do is go and dig them all up. And hopefully I won't lose any in the process. So there's actually buried a squid in there as well while I was busy doing this. Yeah, the annoying thing about doing it in the pond like this is you've got to then go and gather them up. And also because I'm... Mining them down, not every block is going to float up to the surface because of the way the water mechanics work. So these ones underneath the surface are all actually being pushed down by the water streaming down, which just makes it even more difficult. So I've got some of them floating on the surface and some of them floating down here. So in hindsight, this probably wasn't the best way. I should have just made another tank next to the pyramid and used that one instead. And that's it. That's all of them. I got every single block all picked up. So now we can head back over this side. And that means I've got easily enough to go and just finish doing the floor in here. And then we'll be able to do the roof as well after that. But it's the floor that we want to get done first. So we're going to put that. I'll throw you away. And well, first up, we actually want to dig this floor out, don't we? So we'll do that. Instamine. You say, I mean, Instamine, you can say it really quickly. It doesn't sort of mean a great deal. Until you have spent several hours digging by hand in the slow, old-fashioned way. When you've done that, you then come to really, really appreciate what Instamine actually means. And it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It is the single greatest thing that you can experience in Minecraft. Well, I suppose, yeah, actually, you know, I, I say that, I, you know, I'm sort of, I'm sort of thinking, oh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. I don't think I am. I, I really don't think I am exaggerating when I say insta mining is quite possibly the greatest thing in Minecraft. Once you have spent. Don't, like, I, I'm not talking about, like, immediately. I'm talking about after spending a good few hundred hours mining without Instamine and then 
engaging Instamine and really seeing what it's all about. That is when Instamine becomes just some next level stuff. Like it, it, it really does sort of take on a whole brand new existence of its own. I used up just a two stack, two blocks shy of two stacks. No, I had six stacks. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, four. Yeah, two block, two blocks shy of six stack, uh, two stacks for doing the rest of the floor. I've still got that bit of floor up there to go and do, which is. I'm just going to whiz up here to go and do. And this, again, should be a fairly simple process to go around. Uh, so we start off down here, and all i got to do is come out here like this. Actually, I'm going to go across the middle. We do need to leave a hole right in the center of this one, a 2 by 2 hole. Doesn't need to be any more than that, just a two by two. And the reason that we want that is so that the TNT, uh, the, the cobblestone, as it drops, it will fall into a big water pond that has got water streams coming from every direction. And then it will sort of drop from there and drop into the actual water stream that will be picking it up and taking it off on round to do everything it needs to do. So I'll bring that one in like that. And place these in here. And this is going to be the last of the concrete as well. We'll have everything placed down now. Uh, all the decoration done inside. So it's just going to be the water streams left to do. And at this point, they are fairly simple. We'll need to just go and get the rest of the materials to finish those water streams, which is going to be the iron bars and the ice. Um, that's not going to be difficult at all. We'll put There's a little bit of ice that's got to go up on the top here in order to fill out all of this area. Uh, but this, again, is not difficult. So I'm just going to put this one in here like this. And that bit goes in like that. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four coming in that way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five coming in that way. So we want to just move that in. We've got four this way. So that one wants to come in as well. So that makes five. And that is four. So that will be five coming in there. And oh, yes, of course. My mistake. We don't have a two by two hole. We have a one by one hole in here. And what we're actually going to need is a single gate on the top of that one. The gate will be open. I mean, you can have something else if you want, but we will just go with a gate because... I was going to say we'll go with a gate because that's what we've got, but we don't. I thought we had a gate here. Huh. How peculiar. Right, we will go and grab the materials to make a single solitary gate. This gate can be made out of anything you wish. Do we have any gates made? We do not. So we will take a stack of sticks and we will take four spruce. I don't think that's enough. It is. It is. You only need two. So we will take, we'll, we won't do it out of spruce. I don't actually want to do that one out of spruce. Uh, what have I got in here? I do have some acacia. So we'll leave that one behind. And I will put a single solitary acacia in there. I will turn that one into the planks. And then I will make one acacia gate like that. And then I will put the sticks and the acacia planks back. And... Oh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay away from over there in case there's anything nasty. And I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to go to sleep. Actually, I'm going to go to sleep in just a minute. I want to get some ice now. I've got all these chests and everything. I want to go and put those back in the chest that I've got elsewhere. So I don't want to do them here. Uh, stone can all go. And a site, that one. That one can go as well. The... Um, see, I do put some stuff away. I know that one goes in there. Anything else I want to do? Uh, not here. We've got a whole load of light grey concrete. That's for the thing outside, isn't it? Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Um, 
Okay. I got that lot there. I'm going to want some half slabs. Have I got... So I've, I've been using, like, sand half slabs. It really doesn't matter. Actually, well, it does matter on the outside. Where we can see the stuff, it does matter what half slabs I use. So I will take a bit of sand right here, and then I will turn some of that sand into sandstone. I'm actually going to turn half of it into sandstone blocks like that. And then I'm going to turn that into sandstone slabs like that. So I don't want to do it like that. I want to go in here. And I want to put these in here. And I'm going to go to sandstone slabs like that. And it's going to be 32. Should be enough. 32 sandstone slabs. You can't turn those into anything else. These, I could turn them into cut sandstone slabs. Which is probably what I wanted to have, actually. So I'll have 32 of those. The sand itself. Don't need any more of that. Let's put that back. And then I'll go over to here. And now we have the ice. And I'm going to want a couple stacks of that. And then this ice right here, I'm going to want like three or four stacks of that as well for making the, um, the water streams to go all the way round. And that's going to be about it. So we'll get some sleep and then we'll head back over. Right. I have gone and put in the water stream along there that comes up from under the ground. I actually haven't finished quite putting the water stream in up there. I've also put the water in over here. What I'm going to need to do with this bit, actually, is I've got to break that one up there. And then we've got to break that block under. I might not even have to break that one, to be honest. Um, but I do need to break these along here, like this. All the way along. Then bust that one off. And then break these all the way along here. So, I don't know if you'll have seen it yet. If you haven't, a um, little bit of bad news for those of you who like watching the Minecraft series. Sen is not with me again. She has not been feeling very good uh, lately. And uh, partly it's going to involve some more tests and... Probably several trips to the doctor and so on. So I'm not going to go into any more of it than that. It's not sort of, it's not life-threatening or anything like that. It's just part of her health problems and it looks like um, we've got a few issues that need to be dealt with. So she won't be available for doing any stuff with Minecraft for a, well, quite a while. And... The idea of this really now is Sen is supposed to be doing this stuff with me, and I don't really want to be continuing on without her here. I don't really want to be doing it all on my own all the time. So what I've decided is, well, what we've both decided is that we're going to take a break until after Christmas. So I'm just wrapping up this cobblestone generator, and we'll get it running, and you'll see it running. But then uh, this is the final episode until after Christmas. So that will give Sen a decent break. We can sort of find out what's going on with her. Um, it'll give me some extra time for helping with her and with the rest of the family. And just dealing with things and it'll also give me a little bit of extra time for those of you who watch this and watch the farming simulator um you'll probably be aware that we have a new farming simulator game coming out very very soon so it'll give me a bit of time to focus on the farming simulator content that we are going to be bringing to well uh, that i am going to be bringing to the channel i mean i already do farming simulator this is kind of a, a big thing for us here around here um but there's going to be more farming simulator well not necessarily more. New. New farming simulator, I should say. Um, we've got the new game coming out. And so it's all very exciting. We've got this new one coming out. And we're going to want to be able to do things with the with the new game. So we're definitely going to need to be able to... At least, like, with me not doing the stuff with um, Minecraft, I can sort of focus on farming simulator until after Christmas. And then 
uh, after Christmas, we'll decide. We'll see how sane is uh, Christmas, and then we'll make a decision afterwards. Um, I'm not making any promises about anything one way or the other. Um, we will sort of see how it goes. I'm not planning to do another series. I'm not going to bring any other videos instead. So just for a little while, it's going to be Farming Simulator almost exclusively on the channel. There will be the Factorio series it runs, uh, but other than that, there won't be anything more. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of the plan that we've got at the moment. And it may not be what some of you were hoping to hear me say, but that is unfortunately just the way it is. There's not a lot that we can do about it. So, the water, the, the water, the items should come up the water chute over there. They come over to here. They go up against the chest and line up. I should have a cake there, but I didn't have any cakes available. Uh, so that will be replaced with cake in there. We will replace that with cake. And then the stone will run along there. And going the other way, we should get bamboo going into here. Um, the bamboo hasn't actually come around. I haven't been on the server to run the bamboo generator for a while. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's that bit up there. Uh, it's actually almost Betty buys time. So if we go and sleep a second, uh, we need to wait until that. In, up in the top left, it says daytime percentage, 24,000, 12,300 and uh, 12,400. When it gets to 560, I can sleep for the night. And then we can just have a quick uh, free cam look around. So there we go. I'll sleep for the night. Right, we'll have a quick free cam and have a look at this. So I've got... He is a handsome fellow, isn't he? He is a dashingly handsome fellow. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 the stuff comes up the stuff over here. It goes up this bubble elevator over this way. And, yes, it looks like it's going backwards there, but it should be fine to go forwards. I don't think I need to put a half slab in there at all. I don't think I do. We will find out soon enough. And then it goes in here. I've got temporary blocks up here. I haven't actually dug a way into here yet. That's still on the to-do to uh, to list. Uh, and then in here, the items, they drop down through here. They, they get dropped down into there. And then they go along this one. They go along here. They drop down the stairs here. This bit I'm not sure about. I don't know if we can have issues there. They go up against the sea pickles. As long as they... I may need to put an extra block in here to stop them shooting out and going over the top. Because if they go over the top, it might cause us problems. Although, actually, it won't. Because they'll just travel on down here anyway. Then they'll come along here and they'll line up on this side. So, if they're all going over the top, then there'll be a problem. But if some of it is, some of it's going underneath, what we don't want is anything sitting on top of that block. So, we'll, we'll find that out in a minute. We'll see what happens. And then they'll fill up these chests. Once all of these chests in this room are filled up with cobblestone, the remaining will come along here. It will travel up this way. It'll go along here. It'll go along here. And then it will go into the furnaces there. And then once it's been through the furnaces, we get the regular stone here. That will be turning up in these chests underneath here. If everything goes well, that's what should happen. And obviously, that is the fuel supply that will go through. But it's got to run through and fill up that lot over there. So at the moment, it's kind of not doing anything. Because um, I'm going to have to sit here probably and let it run for an overnight or something like that. To properly fill up all of these chests. Or at least a couple of hours. And then it'll come over and fill up all of the chests that we've got over here as well. Which we will get it to do. So, that's everything there. That's, that's all ready to go. I'm going to run over this way. I really like Sen to be doing this. This is the moment that we give we give Sen the, the honour. But uh, yeah, she she's not here. She's really not feeling well today. Uh, put that in there. Let's go to free cam. There it goes. It's gonna work. I got really really worried there for a minute because I thought it wasn't gonna work. But it is working. It takes a while and it's a bit laggy today. I don't know if that's going to cause me problems. That is really laggy. Right, I'm a bit concerned about how... Why is it so laggy today? Let's have a look.
Yeah, that's that's lagging there. I, I don't like that at all. I'm going to switch this one off. I don't know why it's lagging, but it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go free cam again. And it's got a little bit more. So we can just quickly go and take a look over here. And the items are dropping down perfectly. They're lining up and then they're going into these chests down here. So this bit is working just fine. Uh, the other bit doesn't really matter. We'll have to find that out some other time. But yeah, at the moment, this is giving us a bit of lag. It might be just because of the proximity to this bad boy over here. There is always that possibility that that one is causing some issues. Uh, we do also have to take into account the fact that we've got the cats and we've got about 30 million villagers right there, which could also be causing us some problems. So, yeah, th there may be a slight lag issue. <clears throat> Excuse me. There may be a slight lag issue in here, but we know that it works. That is the important thing. We know that it works. Uh, the only thing that I haven't done is dig a hole into the structure in here which i guess i could do now wow what is going on with this lag today that's mad i don't know why we're getting lag like that all of a sudden i wasn't getting i was i've been on here earlier just sort of dealing with that um i was getting no lag issues when i was doing that right let's uh Right, you know what? I'm going to have to dig down further than this. We're going to have to go back by four blocks, is what we're going to do. I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to dig down there. Uh, that's going to have to... It doesn't matter what I use in here. It really doesn't. We'll dig those out. And I'll dig that one, and that one, and that... It's just so mad insane the way that the digging works with the, the boosts. It's like the, the instant mining is... Wow. Okay, so I definitely need to change this up a little bit. So I want to put that one up there and I want to put that one up there. Which means I'm going to need to dig back at least another, say, four blocks... So let's go back is two, three, four, like that. And then if I dig in here like this, and take that one out, and then two, like that, all the way through. I don't know why there's so much dirt in here. Miss Sen had a bit that she's filled in with a load of dirt. She did, because she leveled all this area off. And there were some caves in that here, I think. But I don't think she would have... She wouldn't have done it down this deep. Which is why I'm a little bit confused and confuddled. And that's too... That's going to be too low, isn't it? No. It's actually going to be just fine. So we can put that into there. And then if I put those two in there, we have a little doorway. So we can come in here at least and we can just take a look around. So we go over to this side and we have in there one of those, one of those, and we've already got three stacks of concrete, uh, of cobblestone in there, another couple stacks in there, and another couple stacks in there, and a little bit over in that one as well. So we've got a lot of concrete coming, a uh, concrete, it's cobblestone, Frith, come on, get with the program, cobblestone. Uh, we have got a lot of it, regardless of what it is, in here. So I'm just going to bounce out again. The problem with having the jump boost is you go up. You, it actually takes longer if you've only got single jumps that you're doing. So we need to do something about that. Change it to steps so that we can run up. But yeah, it's a little bit laggy at the moment. I don't really like running a TNT duper while it's lagging because I'm very concerned it's going to lag and the TNT is going to stay up there or something like that, which I really don't want to happen. So anyway, that one works. We know that, that one works. We've now got an unlimited supply of cobblestone and we can run that at some point when it's not quite so um, juddery and jittery and so on. And that will be fine. We will hopefully be back after Christmas and I'm hoping that it 
it will be we. It will be me and Sen. We will both be back after Christmas. Uh, not Probably be in the new year. We'll start in the new year. Uh, the new expansion should be out by that point with Minecraft. So we should be looking at 1.18, which means we'll be able to have a look at all the changes that have happened in the game. Uh, whether or not we've been able to keep any of this is... There's my concern is that we've done all of this and then we'll find out with a new update that, well, you can't actually have any of it. You can't, it, it looks wonderful, but you're not keeping any of it. It's all being destroyed. So that's a slight concern, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, that's all there is to say, really. I really hope that you have a great Christmas. If you watch the Farming Simulator stuff, obviously I will be seeing plenty more of you. If you don't and you're only here for the Minecraft, then please... Um, bear with us. I hope that I will see you after Christmas. I hope that you enjoy your Christmas as well and that you have a, a really fantastic new year and we will see you then. So if you've enjoyed this episode or you have well, and you have enjoyed the series as a whole, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about us. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.